Hello, my name is Russell Kenny, and I'm using Outlook 2010 and I just want to explain how you can set out-of-office messages so that if you're on leave you can automatically send a message to anybody who sends you an email. Now with 2010 things have changed a bit there's no longer an office button you click on this file tab at the top here and this gives you access to these four buttons one of which is to do with sending out out of office messages or automatic replies. I'm going to click on this button and it will bring up um, a little dialog box. There are more choices and more things you can do with this version of Outlook than previously. First of all you can turn on and turn off the automatic replies. Once the replies are turned on you can either leave this in which case it will send automatic replies until you turn the feature off or if you click here you can actually define when the out of office messages will be sent and will they, when they'll stop being sent. And at the bottom here it says automatic reply once for each sender. That means if somebody sends you an email they'll get this automatic reply but if they send you another email while you've still got the out of office messages on uh, they won't get a second email, they just get it the first time they send an email to you. So you've got a choice inside my organization and outside my organization or both and so for inside my organization anything you put in here this will be sent to people within LSBU if they send you an email and the message should probably uh, state that it is an automatic reply also information about when you're not going to be available uh, and perhaps some information about who else could be contacted while you're away. Uh, it's important to say who you are and so I've put at the bottom here uh, a signature. Now automatic signatures are not applied so you have to actually include your signature, name and um, job title etc within the message itself. You've then got a second tab here where you can put a different message if you wish and this message will be sent to anybody outside of the organization, outside of LSBU. Um, and you've got a choice, you can click here, my contacts only, in which case it will only reply to people that you've actually got recorded in your Outlook contacts, contacts section. Or the default is just anyone outside the organization who sends you a message. The first time they send a message to you, they'll get this automatic reply while it's switched on. You've got formatting commands here, so you can um, make things different sizes and different colors. And again, perhaps more importantly for people outside the organization, you need to put in a full signature describing who you are, what your job title is, what department you're in, uh, phone numbers, etc., etc. And then to switch the automatic replies on, you just click on OK. There's another button here, Rules, uh, which enables you to do some more complex things. Uh, but I'll come back to that in another tutorial. So to switch the automatic replies on, just click on OK. You could now switch off the computer uh, and go on your leave. When you come back after leave and you open up Outlook, you'll see this yellow banner. Automatic replies are being sent for this account. And so the first thing to do is to turn that off so that automatic replies are no longer sent. So I'll click on that. And that's switched off that feature. Thank you very much for watching.